Hi, my name is Justin Roberts. I'm a director of product at Git Kraken, and I'm very happy to be speaking at our first ever GitCon. I want to talk today about working with Git in teams and how Git Kraken makes collaborating with your teammates on projects easier so you can spend less time trying to understand who is making changes and switching context between tools and more time releasing quality code. I'll walk through some of the core Git Kraken features that help you understand repositories in the context of teams, show you some of the new team focus features we've released, and give you some insight into what we're currently working on to improve the experience of working with your team on projects with multiple repositories. One of the reasons Git is the most popular source control tool is because it encourages developers to experiment by creating disposable branches off of a primary code base on a local machine where they can write and test code with minimal risk to the main project. Git helps development teams move faster by allowing more people to safely iterate on a repository of code all at the same time. For an individual contributor to a repository, adding changes to a branch, making a commit, and pushing those changes to a remote is pretty straightforward. If you're using Git on the command line, these standard operations can be executed easily with nothing more than a sticky note full of basic commands. As any developer knows, however, commits are rarely that simple, often requiring you to review your code, select and stage only certain parts, and craft commits that better communicate a story of what you've built to the next person reviewing your code. As part of a team, it's also important to know what your teammates are working on so you can choose the right places to branch, know where to rebase your own code, or help someone out by reviewing theirs. The more you want to do with Git, the more commands and parameters you need to memorize, look up, or add to that sticky note to be effective. While many people are comfortable navigating Git repositories via the command line, we've been building Git Kraken as a more intuitive way to access all of the powers of Git with clear visualizations of even the most complex repositories, integrations with hosting services that reduce context switching, and unique team-based features that have made Git Kraken the most popular and powerful Git client in the world. The most prominent visual feature of Git Kraken and the most loved by all users, even those who prefer the command line, is the Git Kraken commit graph. When you're working on a repository with your team, the commit graph can be used to quickly find information about what is being worked on and by who, without writing a single Git command. You'll notice immediately that every commit node is marked by an avatar of the person who authored the commit, allowing you to see who made commits as you navigate the history. If you find that avatars aren't as easy to read or simply don't think that an image of Sonic the Hedgehog accurately represents someone on your team, there is an option in preferences to display author initials on those commit nodes instead. The branch and tag labels listed along the left side of the graph make it easy to scan your repository for feature branches being worked on by your teammates. Beyond simply displaying the branch name, these labels also display icons that represent any remote repositories a branch is on and even pull requests associated with a branch. If you have a hosting service integration connected in Git Kraken, you can also quickly navigate to the pull requests on that service from a context menu on the branch label and begin reviewing your teammates' code. As you dive deeper into your repository to the file level, seeing who made changes to a specific file and when can help you understand why code was written a certain way and know who on your team to reach out to if you have any questions. The file history and blame views in Git Kraken make this information easily accessible and display more than what a simple Git log command will, allowing you to easily navigate a file's history through every commit, see line by line how each commit affected the file and who made the commit. Collaborating with others on code almost always depends on that code being stored in a remote repository that team members can pull from and push to as they work. And for most teams, this means using a hosting service like GitHub or GitLab. This is why we've built integrations with the most popular Git hosting providers that help streamline onboarding for new developers, make it easy to start work from issues, and allow teams to reduce context switching when managing pull requests. Connecting a hosting service integration in Git Kraken is simple and can be done in the integration section of preferences by authenticating with any of the Git hosting services listed. When a hosting service is connected, members of your team will be able to easily clone repositories they have access to in your organization through the repository management view with a simple search, eliminating the need to navigate to a hosting service website to find clone URLs for the repositories you need to start working on a project. Once you've cloned a repository and have your feature branch ready to merge, the fastest way to open a pull request is in Git Kraken. Simply drag the branch you want to merge and drop it onto the branch it will be merged into. 
This will open the create pull request form pre-filled with most of the information you need to get started. Just edit the title and description, add assignees and reviewers, then open the pull request all without opening a web browser. Keeping track of pull requests can be tedious, especially when you need to switch between your developer tools and hosting service website to monitor the pull requests you've assigned to other people on your team or those that have been assigned to you. We're addressing this problem in Git Kraken by displaying a list of pull requests for the repository you're working on in the left panel. With the GitHub integration connected, you'll also have the ability to create and save custom filters for that list of PRs so you can focus on the most important PRs to you and quickly monitor their mergeability with icons that tell you about the build and request status of each. GitHub users can now click on PRs in the left panel to open a full PR view inside Git Kraken with the ability to edit most of the fields on that PR and leave comments. This view also facilitates code review with controls that can check out the branch associated with the PR or select all commits in the PR in the graph so that files can be reviewed and get cracking. There's even an option to merge the PR once it has been approved. In our continuing efforts to help collaborators be more effective while working together with Git, we recently introduced the ability to create teams in Git Kraken so users who work in the same organization will have even more insight into their repositories with features that provide better commit filtering, team awareness, and the ability to catch merge conflicts before they happen. Users with paid Git Kraken accounts can now see members of their organization in the new organization section in preferences. If you're an admin, you'll be able to invite members and create teams of members who will all be able to access new team features. Members who have been added to a team will see a new team view in the left panel of Git Kraken. This team view allows members of a team to see what branches and files their teammates are working on in the same repository, even if those changes haven't been pushed to a remote. This is a powerful feature that increases awareness of activity within teams and aims to alert you and your team when your work in progress could have potential conflicts. If you and another member of your team are working on the same file in a repository, Git Kraken will display a warning icon on that file under each of your names, indicating that there could be a potential merge conflict if those changes are pushed. This provides an opportunity to communicate with your team and ensure that conflicts are avoided before any code is merged. If you do not wish to share this information with your team, you may turn this feature off in preferences and display to your team that you've gone incognito. Also new to Git Kraken is the ability to filter the commit graph by teams. If the author column is displayed in the commit graph, click the filter icon, search for the team you wanna filter by, and all of the commits authored by members of that team will be highlighted in the graph, so you can easily see what a team has been working on. The last team feature I'd like to talk about today was just released in Git Kraken version eight, and that is deep linking. Deep linking allows teams to copy a link to a repository, branch, or commit inside of Git Kraken and share it anywhere. These links can be found in context menus on remotes, branch labels, and commits within Git Kraken. When someone follows a link, it will open the Git Kraken application to the intended repo, branch, or commit. Git Kraken will open the repository in a tab and highlight the branch or commit in the graph. Deep linking makes it really easy to reference a branch or commit and share it with someone on your team so they can quickly take a look. The first use case for leveraging these deep links outside of the Git Kraken client was also just released by the newest member to the Git Kraken family, the Git integration for Jira. The Git integration for Jira is a powerful Jira application that displays branches and commit details associated with Jira issues, including file diffs right inside of Jira. When this application is installed on your Jira instance, you'll see links from commits and file diffs that open those items in Git Kraken. The Git Kraken client will also include links back to Jira if you have the Jira integration connected, so you can seamlessly transition between Git Kraken and Jira when necessary. All of the features I've talked about today are available right now in Git Kraken version eight, but we have even more plans for improving teams and collaboration that will be available in upcoming releases. We're working on making it easier to see who on your team is available to assist with things like complex merges and thinking about better ways to communicate with team members about your repositories directly in Git Kraken. We want teams to be able to share settings like Git flow branch prefixes and commit templates across teams so their workflows are consistent and we'll be releasing a brand new feature that allows teams to group repositories into projects so they can be easily cloned and worked on together, including the ability to view and work on all of the issues and pull requests associated with those repositories in one place. The Git Kraken team is looking forward to your feedback on all of our new team features in Git Kraken version eight and beyond. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to join this session and enjoy the rest of GitCon.